फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सर यू नो एक ही सवाल जो कि हर किसी के जहन में इस समय आ रहा है दैट इज हाउ डिड दिस हैपन यू नो मिस्टर माजिद मजीदी ए आर रहमान साहब उनका म्यूजिक विशाल भारद्वाज साहब के लिरिक्स डायलॉग्स एंड इतनी कमाल की कास्ट हाउ डिड ऑल हैपन हाउ हाउ डिड इट हैपन ओके ओके काउंटर क्वेश्चन नो आई मीन दैट्स दैट्स बिगेस्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड इट हैपन बट इट जस्ट हैपन सर हैपन नवा पिक्चर्स हैपन जी स्टूडियोज हैपन इट्स इट्स ऑल टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्स्ट्रॉडनरी टूगेदर सो दैट्स दी होल जर्नी एंड दैट्स हाउ इट केम अक्रॉस ईशान मालविका सो आई मीन रेमान सर इज नॉट इट यूर एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम बट दी होल सेटअप द काइंड ऑफ पीपल हिंदी में बोलते हैं ना लोग मिलते गए कारवा बनता गया एग्जैक्टली दैट इन दैट मैनर एंड दैट्स हाउ इट प्रोग्रेस एंड इट्स बीन अयर नाउ and here we are ready to release a trailer at this point and and everybody is just loving it the kind of response the movie is already got what do you have to say on that oh just the beginning Ooh, it's just the beginning okay, it is a just the beginning statement you know over here you know uh, there is nobody seen bombay like this this poster says it all the first one that we had put out nobody has seen bombay like this of course it's the expertise of absolutely, some stalwarts absolutely, you know absolutely so yahan pe uh, another thing you know z studios has always you know uh, been talked about as the studio that has backed some content driven cinema you know bahut hi bahut hi samajhdar cinema ke liye so is samay you you've collaborated with namo pictures please tell us about this collaboration what can i tell i mean i should call them and Let, ask them yes. how the collaboration has been because it's been a great journey it's been a year it's been a great journey lot of talks discussions working together uh going to festivals putting the movies together the songs all of it so it's been really a great journey working if we we were the opening film that was a huge achievement huge achievement for all of us to be in goa if we telling us inviting us be to be the opening film i think that has been never seen before so for that that journey together it's been a great association so i would like to call them on stage please Yes. Charin Mantri and Kishore Arora ladies and gentlemen from Namo Pictures. Here you go. We have another one. Thank you. Kishore this is for you. No no you can't just get away like that. No you're like no 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 it's aise nahi hota sir. Please so we'll start with you. Kishore tell us tell us about this collaboration with Z Studios. Okay she's going to do the honors. Please please Charin. Good afternoon everyone. Thank you all for being here today and uh, we are really excited. and uh, it's a very proud moment for us to be sharing the trailer with you all today and uh, firstly i would like to thank mr majidi for having the faith and conviction and the belief in us to you know produce his first film in india his first indian film in india and uh, it's been a great journey and not only professionally but also personally as a human being I mean it's 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 been a credit incredible experience and a lot to learn from him and we hope to continue this journey together Absolutely I was just talking to Mr Kutti we were talking about this thing maine kaha ye brahmastra hai you know sabko aapne Mr Majid ji ye yaar Rehman sahab Vishal Bhardwaj itni amazing cast sabko ek sath le aaye so this is this is like next to impossible kisi aur ke liye hai na I mean it's it's something like he said just happened and uh, it was a first in India and we were really we followed his cinema children yes. of heaven yes. baran and all you know all his films and we were real, really great fans of his work and uh, i think it's been a dream to work with him and today it's really a surreal feeling to share this experience with you and we hope that we'll get all the support from you all of course of course the and kind of <laughs> reactions you're getting abhi i'm sure they all are going to love it or isse pehle bhi you know blockbuster bol diya hai sabne already <laughs> so what we'll do is now ladies and gentlemen we'll we'll uh, welcome the legend himself jinke liye jitna bola jaye utna kam hai you know it um, i i don't have words to describe his art uh, people all, all across the globe they look up to his work and uh, uh, people study his work song of sparrows was the first movie jo shayad maine unki dekhi thi uske baad to i was a fan and then children of heaven usse pehle of course maine baad mein dekhi thi wo and he is someone everybody looks up to इंटरनेशनल फ्रटर्निटी जो फिल्म फ्रटर्निटी है वो इनको बहुत आदर करती है बहुत प्यार करती है लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन प्लीज पुट योर हैंड्स टुगेदर फॉर मिस्टर माजिद मजीदी वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू एंड दिस इज फॉर यू टेक द माइक एंड शुद्ध हिंदी में मैं बोलना चाहूंगा पहले तो स्वागत है वेलकम टू इंडिया आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है दैट्स हाउ वी वेलकम पीपल 
سلام عرض میکنم خدمت خانم آقایون خیلی ممنون که تشبه بردین اینجا در واقع میشه گفت دیگه جز به شهرهای منه یعنی این برحال کشور دوبار من بنابراین من هم خودم رو قریب اینجا احساس نمی کنم و جزی از شما می بینم First I want to say hello to all the audiences I really appreciate that you are here and uh, so now India is my homeland so I, ham- I have the feelings that actually I'm in my country and so feel واقعیتش اینه که به هر حال در یک کشور دیگه فیلم ساختن خب ریسک خیلی بزرگی برای کارگردان In fact it's very difficult and risky for a, a foreign director to make actually film in another country ولی از اونجایی که به حال به لحاظ فرهنگی خب ایران و هند مشترکات زیادی دارن و همین مشترکات باز شد که تصمیم میگیرم که اینجا فیلم بسازم و تو همین زمینه به دوستان خیلی خیلی خوبی که زی و کمپانی برنامه پیکچرز و مجموعه دوستانی که من کار کردن خیلی خیلی کمک کردن که در واقع این پروژه اونجوری که من دوست دارم در واقع پیش بره و امیدوارم که برخواه نمایش موفقی در این داشته باشید. The point is uh, because of this uh, similarities between Iran and India. Even on the cultural side, so it happened. So, and also I have great friends help me actually. Nama Picture, Zia Studio, and all the Indian crews that helped me to have a, such a wonderful experience in making the films here. برای همونجوری که میدونی جمعیت ایرانی خیلی زیادی در هند زمینگی میکنن از اینو وی هف هیوچ پاپولیشن آف ایرانیانز هو لیو این ایندیا از سالهای خیلی خیلی دور فرام لانگ تایم اگو دی آر هیر و در واقع همین مشترکات باعث شده که برها ارتباط خیلی نزدیکی بین ایران هند باشه and for all these things it happened that there are many similarities and so uh, between ایران and India as well راهی که دوستان خیلی خوبه هم وطنهای ما آقای دکتر علی ایرانی که از اصلا اینجا متولد شده و در واقع به هندی ایرانیه و امروز هم اینجاست و ممنونم از تشفرمایش و کمک های خیلی زیادی به لحاظ دوست من کرد توی پروژه و ممنونم از ایشون و همه ایرانی ها Also I should appreciate دکتر علی ایرانی He is Iranian also he lives in India Indian person and so helped me a lot And uh, also I want to appreciate all Iranians who supported us here for this project. A lot of people, you know, a lot of these filmmakers, they love his work, they study his work. So what are his views on the same? خب این هم یکی باز از اون علت ها بود که تصویب جدید داشتم در هند فیلم بسازم برحال سینمای من در هند کلا در آسیا برها خب خیلی مطرف و بخصو در هند بر من خب خیلی شگفت انگیز بود بعضی وقت فکر میکردم که من اینقدر که تو هند معروفم شد تو ایران نباشم و تو هر جا که میرفتم برها فنهای خیلی زیادی بود و همین ها باعث شد که بر واقع من بیشتر علاقه من بشم به این که برها در هند کار کنم و ممنونم از همه کسایی که برها سینمای من رو دنبال کردن و مشرق شدن که من در هند حضور پیدا کنم It was one of the main reasons I decided actually to make a film in India. Sometimes I believe that actually I'm more famous in India rather than my country. And so I have a huge fan also in India, in Asia. And I want to, I'm thankful to all my fans here in India and also those who support me. He's famous across the globe, but we, we all love him and would like to thank him for this amazing movie. به حال من تشکر میکنم از دوستان خوبم به خصوص نما پیکچرز بچه های خیلی خیلی جوان های خیلی خوبی بودن و همکاری خیلی خوبی داشتیم به حال هفته سال منتظر من شدن که در واقع من این پروژه رو بیام کار بکنم و در واقع اصرار اونا و سماجت اونها و که اعتماد من در واقع خوب جرب شد برای این چیز و ممنونم ازشون که به حال این فرصت همکاری پیش اومد I should appreciate actually my friends specifically I should appreciate Nama picture so they are really well talented and so it took about 
seven, eight years actually they pushed and pushed and so it happened finally and uh, very wonderful collaboration together um, and it was a kind of motivation also from the side because of this. I'm telling you that I just came to Iran to make this film. No one was in Iran with me. Maybe it was just a few people. I'm not sure that it was just a few people. But all of the factors are from Hindu. And this is a very important thing that I did. All of the factors are from Hindu. ارتباط خیلی خوبی داشتیم از آیا رحمان از فیلم بردارم آنیل و از همه عواملی که کمک کردند به این پروژه واقعا ممنونشون هستم Also as you know all the crews have been Indians just only one Iranian assistant it was a wonderful collaboration with all these Indian crew they helped me a lot I should appreciate all of them for such a wonderful experience and so I feel actually that I can do Also, I should appreciate Mr. Rahman, also Anil. The credits actually my those who helped me a lot. I'm just as good as Bollywood, as well as the actors of Bollywood, that for this love they did that they are not going to be in the film. But well, it was not a good thing. I'm just as good as the actors of Bollywood, as well as the actors. خیلی تواضع به خرج داد و من لازمی که اینجا بگم که ایشون وقتی من ازشون خواستم که برای تست بیان تست نه به جهت اینکه تواناییشون رو بسنجن نه برای اینکه توی اون نقش ببینم چطوره و ایشون با تواضع خیلی کاملی اومدن و من ممنونم از خانم دپیکا هرچند این همکاری صورت نگرفت به دلایل مختلفی چون برخوردشون هم پروژه داشت و تاریخی که ما می‌خواستیم کار کنیم و دلایل دیگه این فرصت فراهم نشد ولی من جا داره که اینجا از همه عیزانی که برخواه در بالیوود بودن و اومدن قازانه هم اومدن تشکر کنند Also I should appreciate all uh, Bollywood faces, Bollywood actors, actresses um, Also I should uh, make a special thanks to Mrs. Deepika So she was very very humble And so even actually when we invited her to come it was not actually for casting but to put her in the situation to get the feeling of the film and she was really humble for different reasons actually we couldn't have this collaboration but we hope in future we have this opportunity to work together so I want to appreciate all those Bollywood faces who helped us and so supported us also on this project. That was brilliant. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Reza. Thank you so much for your... Okay. okay. So, uh, Rahman, sir, this one's for you. You know, every every filmmaker uh, has, has a unique style. You know, giving music for his movie, for Mr. Majidi's movie for the second time. How was it? And what is that one aspect of his filmmaking that you find the most unique or unique? Uh, different layers to filmmaking. Mm -hmm. I think there's one layer which I've understood much better through his filmmaking over years and um, so it's a learning experience for me like he thinks in a way where music is a character the character is not uh, it has to play multiple roles that's deep that's deep okay mr machidi how was your experience um, you know once again you worked with mr rahman so how was it for you خب همونجور که این تجربه اول من برای فیلم پیامبر بود که خب همکاری خیلی تنگا تنگی با رحمان داشتیم بوده دو سالی در واقع کار شد روی موسیقی فیلم از اینو مای فرست اکسپریانس وید مستر رحمان ایت واس فور دی فیلم پروفیت محمد سو وی ورک توگیدر ویلی کلوزلی فور اپراکسیمتلی تو یرز و این همکاری باعث شد که ما خب خیلی به هم نزدیک بشیم So because of this uh, collaboration, it happened to be so close to each other. And so as I have mentioned several times, Besides, actually, the professional points of view, he is a very, very special person. Actually, very, very strong spiritual character, and so it happened to have a kind of a very deep relationship, friendship together. Well, I'm not sure that 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 I'm not
هرقم بین که خیلی شلوغ بود ولی پذیرفت که به حال موسیقی این فیلم رو کار کنیم که اتفاق خیلی خوبی بود. I really appreciate him because he was very very busy but as his humble he accepted to have this collaboration again together. و به حال کار کردن با رحمان ویژگی های خودشو داره دیگه. خیلی وقتا مثلا تا سر هیچ با تایم نمیشه با رحمان کار کرد. So it's a kind of unique experience working with AR Rahman. Never happened to be actually to fix our times together always. مثلا ساعت دو قرار میذاشتیم ولی ساعت ده شب اتفاق میفته. So we, we, we fixed the appointment for 2 o'clock in the afternoon but the meeting happened actually at 10 o'clock at night. من بعضی وقتا میگفتم که این دفعه رحمان رو ببینم پنجره پردش میکنم پای. So I told to myself is I see like why not always. Not always. همیشه هم اینجور نبوده. No no sure talking. ولی خب خیلی ارتباط خیلی خیلی به حال خوبی بود. It was a great and also wonderful team. He has a very, very wonderful team as well. Team very young and good. Well talented, young and so well experienced. And it's very valuable that actually, besides working, so also he tries to teach the those who work with him as well. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for those kind words. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to invite on stage the lead pair. And to start with, uh, he is one of the most promising actors or Kalke superstar. Yes, yes, yes. Nika, Mr. Majidi ne bola hua hai. Give it up for Ishan Khattar, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, make some noise. Would would want Mr. Majidi to you know uh, share a couple of things about this amazing um, pair over here, their chemistry on screen and so on. Well, I mean, before that, okay, the actors that were in this film were two of them. The actors that were in the first one that were in the first one were two of them. So we should categorize the actors of. This film in two, so those who came actually for the first time in front of camera, like Ishan. Wa abate Malvika ke abate ko tajruba ye qabli ham dashte wali khub na khali bozor. And also Malvika, however, actually she had experience before, but it was a kind of a small experience in the cinema industry. Wa kesay ke barha unab shay ye barha cinema herfe kar kardan. And those who has worked professionally in cinema as well. و یکی از اونها در واقع نقش آکشی رو بازی کرد که به حال اسمش هم شما بگین که من خیلی ممنونم که به حال ایشون این لطفو کردن که تو این فیلم هم بازی کنن ایشون برای کارگردان بزرگی هستن also i should uh, appreciate and thankful to the akshi character and so it was a great honor to have a mr gatham for this wonderful collaboration together خب معتقدم که بر حال تیم خیلی خوبی شد یعنی بر حال به خصوص بچه ایشان و ملیکا فوق العاده با استعدادن و من مطمئنم که این دو تا چهره جز و چهره های یعنی در واقع دو تا چهره به سینمای بالیوود اضافه خواهد شد I should confess that both uh, Ishan and Malvika they are really really well talented and I believe that two strong and Talented faces. We should add to the Bollywood cinema. و خوشبختانه بر هر کارکترای خیلی خوبی دارن هم ملی که هم ایشان و خیلی دوست داشتنی بودن برای من. با اینکه جوانان ولی خیلی خیلی آدمای با تجربه ای هستن نسبت به زندگی و کار. However, they are young, but they are really also well experienced in the way actually they act and also try to learn and also in cinema industry. 
ویژگی های خیلی زیادی دارن که من یک از ویژگی های ایشان رو برای اولین بار دوست دارم اینجا بگم um, they have very lovely and wonderful characters one of them I want to talk about ایشان is ایشان خیلی خیلی انسان در واقع که در جوونه خیلی معتقد هستش بر واقع به اعتقادات در واقع خودش و انرژی های خوبی نسبت به اعتقادی که داره به عنوان مسلمان در واقع در کارش دیده میشه و ایشون با نماز انرژی خیلی خیلی خوبی میگیره و من یادمه که هر وقت میخواست بازی سختی بکنه اون روز می اومد و نماز رو با هم میخوندیم و من این انرژی رو کامل میدیدم تو بازش و واقعا برای من خیلی حس خوبی که یه جوان اینجوری اینقدر اعتقاد داره به اون باورهای در واقع دینی خودش و قلبی خودش برای من خیلی ارزش من However, he is young but he believes in his faith and also, also in his religious um, thoughts and It happened actually that uh, several times because of this positive energy happened that we had very difficult scenes and on that day together actually we prayed and so get a very very wonderful and positive energy so it's very unique such a faith to what you believe بر حال از همه عواملی که توی فیلم بر حال بازی کردن کار کردن تشکر میکنم به خصوص هانی که اینجا در جمع شما هستش تشکر میکنم چون کست خیلی خیلی خوبی رو هانی برای من چیندش و انجام داد و من جا داره که از هانی خیلی تشکر کنم برای اینکه که حال یکی از سخت در این بخشای فیلم کستینگ و خب من خیلی شناخ نداشتم و اونجایی هم که میخواستم بازیگرم بخششون چهره های اول باشن هانی برحال خیلی خیلی کمک کرد که من ممنونم از هانی I'm thankful and I appreciate uh, my wonderful team, all the actors, the credits, those who collaborated. Also, I should uh, appreciate Hani because of the wonderful casting that he did. Uh, it was a difficult process because it was important for me to find the talents and new faces. And it was a great collaboration working with him. I want to thank you for the Hani and the Sahne and the Jai Mabu Peybande. Uh, so I want to also invite him to come on the stage and join us. Ladies and gentlemen, Ani Tehan, Zordar Talia, please. I'm chenin dar vaghe az bachay guru ki ala khub main jo mibinam ziba hastesh ke khub ye Iraniye va tu tarahi lebas bakhshi tarahi lebas bar hal khayli khayli kar vijay anjam dad ke mukham ke ziba bhi atu. Pehle to main ap sab ka shukriya da karna chahunga ke ab aaye aur apne hamara. हमारी फिल्म की एक छोटी सी झलक देखी और मुझे उम्मीद है कि आप सबको पसंद आई होगी टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन ऑफ कोर्स एवरीबडी हैज एवरी एस्पायरिंग एक्टर वुड हैव एन आइडियल पिक्चर इन हिज माइंड ऑफ हाउ यू वुड वांट टू बिगिन हिज हिज जर्नी बट आई थिंक दिस इज एज क्लोज टू आइडियल एज इट वुड बी फॉर मी बिकॉज it's as an actor it's it's extremely important to uh, to begin with somebody who will set the foundation uh, for you um, and your um, craft and uh, i think uh, for me the biggest learning experience uh, was to observe him on set and uh, really meditate on what he uh, uh, would tell us and uh, um, and make us uh, perform like so it's it's been Uh, very special in that sense. Right, Malavika, the same question for you. Hello, everybody. Is this working? It yes, is. it is. Now it is. <laughs> um, I didn't. Um, speaking of an ideal debut, yeah. I, I wanted my film. I wanted to basically work with, really work with somebody whose work I believe in. You know, um, somebody's work that resonates with me on a personal level and. Uh, I've grown up watching a lot of Majidi Sir's films, Children of Heaven, Song of Sparrows, and it really—I love the films. It's as simple as that. I loved his work, and you know, when I got the chance to work with him, it was—it was more than a dream. It was—it uh, was like everything just fell perfectly into place. You know, so it was more than what I could ask for, more than what I could um, imagine. You know, as cliche as it may sound, but it was perfect. So yeah. And the trailer looks perfect. It looks so fabulous. Much. So now, now, ladies and gentlemen, it's over to you. I know you have a lot of questions that you want to be answered, 
by this amazing cast and crew over here. Hi, uh, sorry, Ishan? I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. من قبل از که برای کسی صحبت بکنم میخوام که به حال تیم زیادی بودن که با هم کار داشتن من جمله کاول که مجری تر بود میخوام خواهش کنم که کاول بیاد روی صحنه also we had a great team but i cannot actually to see if they all of them they are here but i forgot to ask kavel also to come on the stage ایشان Welcome to Mansi, 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 please. Set designer Mansi. Welcome Mansi. So Ishan, 70 mm पे स्वागत है. ये कई जगह फिल्म दिखाई भी गई है तो लोगों ने तारीफ भी की है. आपने फिल्म साइन करने से पहले किसकी सलाह ली थी कि मुझे ये फिल्म करनी चाहिए? जाहिर है कि मैं अपनी मॉम के साथ रहता हूँ और ज़्यादातर वक्त उनके साथ ही गुजारता हूँ तो उनसे ही सबसे पहले सलाह ली होगी और एब्सोल्युटली द फर्स्ट पर्सन आफ्टर दैट आई आई वुड गो टू वुड बी माय ब्रदर एंड या इट वाज आई जस्ट आई फेल्ट वेरी स्ट्रांगली अबाउट द फिल्म जैसे कि आप जानते हैं मैं इसके बाद भी एक फिल्म कर रहा हूँ करण जौहर साहब के साथ और एट दैट टाइम वी वन टॉक्स Um, uh, about starting that film as my first film, and um, uh, so I had a word with him as well, and I told him that I feel very strongly about this, and I'd like to do this film, and he was very gracious about it, and um, uh, he let me go ahead and and do this uh, film and follow it up with his production. So uh, I think these were the first three people that I spoke to about this. Yeah. And कोई particular tip दी थी शायद साहब ने हमको कि ये करना और ये नहीं करना क्योंकि बाकी चीज़ें तो आपने वर्कशॉप ली है डांस की सारी प्रैक्टिस बचपन से हुई है कोई पर्टिकुलर चीज़ शूट से पहले जी नहीं बिल्कुल भी नहीं सिर्फ उन्होंने इतना कहा था कि अपनी दिल की सुनो और जस्ट वर्क ऑनेस्टली एंड वर्क हार्ड थैंक यू शाह Uh, I know you spoke about this, but is there something particular why you chose India to be your first film in a uh, foreign nation? Why is there something particular that drove you, or you connected with in India? I was thinking of. خیلی جای مختلف گفتم نمیخواستم دیگه تکراری باشه ولی من سینمای هند رو با سینمای هند رو اساسا و سینمای هند رو با سینمای ساتیا جیترا شناختم و همیشه خیلی علاقه من شدم از سینمای ساتیا جیترا اصلا به هند و نوع نگاه ساتیا جیترا خیلی خیلی برای من ارزش من بود و همیشه دوست داشتم در سرزمین جیترا در واقع کار بکنم به خاطر اینکه به شدت یکی از کسایی هستم که سینمای جیترای رو در واقع ستایش میکنم این شاید یکی از بزرگترین نام محرک های اصلی بود I have mentioned several times to this fact so I didn't intend to repeat again but I should say that uh, I uh, learned a lot and also I know India based on actually the remarkable the Indian director Sajid Rai and so it was always my dream Uh, to make a film um, actually in his land and so his viewpoint is very valuable to me the style and so I love whatever he has done and his work it was one of the main reasons as a kind of motivation to happen once to make a film in his land جیسے کہ آپ نے بتایا کہ آپ کو فلم کے بارے میں بہت strongly feel ہوا کہ آپ کو یہ فلم کرنی چاہیے کرن جوہر سے بھی آپ نے صلاح لی किसी पॉइंट पे आपको ऐसा नहीं लगा कि ये बहुत ऑफ बीट चॉइस है क्योंकि बॉलीवुड में जब लोग डेब्यू करते हैं तो एक बहुत मेन स्ट्रीम उसमें करना चाहते हैं फिल्म में करना चाहते हैं तो आप कहीं कहीं ये थॉट लिंगर हो रहा था कि बहुत ऑफ बीट चॉइस है कुछ कुछ बताएंगे इसके बारे में क्या थाट प्रोसेस था और ऑडिशनिंग का प्रोसेस भी बताएंगे किस तरह से आपको फिल्म मिली क्या हो जी नहीं बिल्कुल ये ख्याल नहीं आया कि ये ऑफ बीट थाट है उम्मीद है कि आप फिल्म आके देखेंगे और ये बहुत ही खूबसूरत कहानी है और मुझे ये लगा कि लोगों को ज़रूर समझ आएगी और पसंद आएगी <coughs> तो ऐसा बिल्कुल ख्याल नहीं है ऑडिशनिंग <coughs> uh, के बारे में मैं ज़रूर आपको बता सकता हूँ ही हैज़ अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोसेस उन्होंने uh, हमें 
कुछ शूट करने के लिए भेज दिया था हनी से हनी सर के असिस्टेंट्स थे हमारे साथ और हम चार पांच थे और हमें वेरियस जगहों पे भेजा गया फोन्स के साथ और हमें ये बताया गया था कि आपको फुटेज इकट्ठा करनी है और छोटा सा ब्रीफ दिया था कि इस तरह के सीन्स हैं और हमने एक छोटा सा प्रोजेक्ट ही समझ लीजिए बना के इनको दिखाया एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट ही चोज मी इन दिस फिल्म मैं सवाल करूं कि आगे अगर फ्यूचर के बारे में बात करें किस तरह के सिनेमा में आप बिलीव करते हैं किस तरह का सिनेमा आप करना चाहेंगे किस एक्टर पे आप खुद को मॉडल करना चाहेंगे अगर हिंदी सिनेमा की बात करें तो और कौन कौन आपके फेवरेट है कौन कौन से एक्टर्स uh, uh, मेरे फेवरेट एक्टर्स तो कई सारे हैं आई थिंक सिनेमा के बारे में यही खास बात है कि uh, हर कोई uh, कभी कभार बहुत ही स्पेशल uh, uh, कुछ uh, uh, पेश करता है तो uh, uh, मुझे uh, मेरी फेवरेट फिल्में कई सारी हैं uh, मैं सबका नाम तो नहीं ले पाऊँगा क्योंकि बहुत ही लंबी लिस्ट है लेकिन uh, uh, इस इस तरह का सिनेमा करना चाहूँगा मैं uh, जिसकी कहानी पावरफुल हो और uh, जिसमें एक मैसेज uh, uh, हो और uh, और बस <laughs> अच्छी फिल्में करना चाहूँगा बस सिंपल सी बात है सर so uh, when you uh, when you collaborate with foreign filmmakers foreign directors is there a different kind of pressure which you have because people here already know your work they know what to expect of rehman but when you work with someone outside the country this is a something which bothers you or you go prepared tell me about that no i love doing that uh, my first experience was with deepa mehta i went to canada then i worked with heping in china and uh, so i'm used to this with the translator with the language of uh, cinema as you know as universal and i always want something else to you know influence me or take me away from the monotony you know when you keep doing the same thing it's monotonous so always look forward for something which is exciting and which would make me push me myself into fire this is one fire actually <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mr. Majidi, Justin here from PTI. Here, uh, I wanted to ask you: Your films back in Iran have almost always metaphorically commented on the social, political issues that the country faces, uh, which I believe would be difficult to do so if not for a filmmaker. Uh, in this world, uh, in this age of majoritarian politics ruling and the hate wave rising, uh, how important do you think is it for artists to stand up and speak against the establishment? برای من همیشه تحت هر عنوانی چه از تو مسائل اجتماعی چه سیاسی همیشه به حال انسان برای من مهمه و اون ارزش های در واقع انسانی فرق نمی کنه که انسان در کجا این کره خاکی زندگی میکنه همیشه سعی کردم که در واقع به آدم ها نزدیک بشم به انسان نزدیک بشم و ارزش های در واقع تجلی اون ارزش های انسانی رو در واقع زنده بکنم So with regard to the social and again political issues, first actually I always pay attention and highlight to be a kind of human beings and also respect the human values. So it's important to, in any place that you work, just to uh, focus first on these values. چون برخود می‌نیم که امروزی ممکن است برخود یه بسیار اجتماعی یا تو سیاسی هم اتفاق بیفته قصه و داستان. ولی اون چیزی که مهمه خود انسانه و پرداختن به It may happen actually that when you make a film, so even with a social subject, even you face a kind of political issues as well. But I still believe that uh, the person actually and the human being and that values which actually we focus on that and so make the story is very important on that subject. I know that we are all cinema, Mr. Sawyer, that are not journalists, journalists. مثل روزنامه یا چیزای دیگه ممکنه که چیزی که امروز تو سیاست خوبه ولی فردا ممکنه اون چیز کهنه بشه یا خبر امروز ممکنه خبر فردا دیگه کهنه خبر دیروز برای خبر امروز دیگه کهنه است سینمایی در واقع نگانه که برها به انسان نزدیکه و به ارزش‌های انسانی و 
به مسائل در واقع انسان می‌پردازه این سینما خب همیشه در واقع ماندگاره also cinema actually is completely different from newspapers from the other way of media because maybe it happened that when you make a film and highlight a social subject to be a kind of political issue but the next day would be different and so not so important so this is the reason that i emphasize to focus on the human values parallel to the subject is important so this kind of films always can be previewed and so can communicate with the audience مثلا فیلم بچه آسمان که 20 سال از ساختش میگذره هنوز که هنوز نسلای جدید جدید تری که میان باش ارتباط برقرار میکنه همین چند وقت پیش توی پرواز داخلی یه دختر بچه 8 ساله ای رو دیدم که این خب 12 12 سال از در واقع میشه گفتش که بچه آسمان کوچیکتره یعنی ولی میگفتش که من عاشق بچه آسمانم تا حالا این فیلم رو سه بار دیدم As an example, I want to mention to Children of Heaven. I made it uh, 20 years ago, but uh, still, the, this title can communicate even with the young generation. It happened recently in a flight. I actually met an uh, eight years old girl, actually, and so he was so young. But actually, he said, actually, I love this film. I have seen it three times. It is the matter of communication. Also, one last thing: uh, Was there ever a temptation to make Indian debut with perhaps big Bollywood stars? Uh, was there a temptation in your mind that way? To, question to Mr. Majid. Yeah. خب البته من در فیلم بازیگر حرفه‌ای هم استفاده کردم و ولی بیشتر علاقه من بودم که با به خاطر اینکه قصه ها خیلی واقعی تر جلوه کنه با بازیگر غیر حرفه‌ای کار کنم. Of course actually as you know I have also worked with uh, professional actors in some of my films but because of this subject and also because of the storyline it happened to actually happen to find more actually new faces ولی از اونجایی که برها خب به خصوص در هند صنعت سینما و بازیگر خیلی خیلی تعیین کننده است خب دوست داشتم که برای این اتفاق می افتاد ولی خواستم که اتفاق به شکل درستی باشه ولی خب نشد ولی ممکنه در فیلم های بعدی بخوام کار کنم در هند قطعا از این ظرفیت بالیوود برای سینمای بالیوود قطعا استفاده خواهم کرد اونتا به شرط که سر جاش درست قرار بگیره ولی فقط نه به خاطر اسمش معتقدم که باید برای اون نقش در واقع کامل باشه. I know that in Indian cinema industry it's important to have uh, famous faces and also I look I, I uh, would love to do that but it's important for me even in the future maybe this possibility to have these faces but uh, we should put this in the real character it's important to have a kind of uh, real and also important Um, relation between the character and also between the person who is going to play and it may happen in the future congratulations the trailer looks very very gripping thank you very much for doing this but if I had to ask you a question how did you manage to convince this magician to come to India because your collaboration is very difficult and all the crew members are talking in Hindi in their own so I'm sure this must have been a big uh, challenge for all the actors as well आपने ये सोचा क्यों और how did you make it possible और कितने साल से आप ये सोच रहे हैं? We actually like he said like for six seven years we've been in touch and my partner and Kishore and me got this idea that you know we we of course watch Children of Heaven that was like our starting point and we said why not you know have him here in India to make an Indian film and that's when we contacted him and then Obviously, he want, he made us wait. He didn't just say yes immediately, but uh, he saw how how you know interested we were, and we were like chasing him nonstop, and finally he agreed to do it. Yes, language, like we said, cinema has no language. It's actually, which is very true because um, I think we just understand each other, and the entire team will tell you that that it's a very comfortable working association. Like by now. 
what he's saying doesn't need to be translated half the things are just understood <laughs> Uh, is there a test process that you have uh, before you release your music and song and secondly is there any particular song or album which you felt would do really well in didn't or vice versa uh, the test process between the creative people director and or the audience um, a select audience no we don't do all that uh, from the beginning i think it has to be i i have to like it first and then i'll give it to the director and he has to like it and then because he has is putting in all his energy um yes we want every music to be you know popular and to be received well but um sometimes it takes time but the sincerity is always noticed so i don't care if people don't you know receive it in the beginning and sometimes you know after 6 months they say oh it's a great album i was thinking yeah i know <laughs> any particular time, any particular album which you felt uh, was received late the way you wanted many albums but story of my life <laughs> thank you uh, good afternoon everyone um, malvika and ishan many congratulations malvika looking gorgeous pyare lag rahe ho aap it's working yes <laughs> nahi wo malvika achhi lag rahi Ma- malvika uh, how was it uh, <laughs> taking this role and uh, probably many major actresses were also probably uh, on the line to get this role um yeah i've been told they were but um i wasn't aware of much when uh, hani sir uh, we all owe him this one when I, hani sir called me to his office and you know uh, it was the first time i met hani sir and i sat down and the first thing he tells me is um it's a majid majidi film and i just stared at him blankly because i didn't know how to <laughs> drama queen i don't know how to uh, i mean i don't know what was happening you know and uh, things happened really quickly and i got the film and the shoot also started pretty quick so i didn't have much time to really think about what was happening with other people or um much uh, until after the film got over i i i wasn't aware of much no no i i, I knew but not a lot not not the details but yeah i mean i think i was just focused on what was required out of me and i was just happy to have gotten the chance ishan uh, looking smart <laughs> he said it thanks man compliment bhi dena padta hai took you a while uh, ishan more competition for shahid at home also <coughs> sorry can you repeat that more competition for shahid at home Is, is that a question yeah in what with, sense but you are coming in the film industry but if i'm coming in films why would that be competition at home competition matlab like with shahid matlab like he will be having more people to no oh, man he's he's uh, he's almost like uh, you know like a teacher he's a very paternal figure in my life i've uh, uh, learned so much by watching him uh i can't possibly consider myself competition to him i and uh, and in fact i would say we're a team mr majidi uh how do you see the uh cinema industry in india what's your thoughts the film being made in india what about them i mean i see it the no, way I, you I, see I, it I, in, in theaters oh sorry You should probably mention that that's a dresser. Uh Mr. Majidi what are your thoughts for the Indian film industry the films being made here? خب یه سر قضاوت خیلی سختیه برای اینکه برخ خب من همه فیلمای هند رو که ندیدم ولی به حال برای اندیکه هست مثل همه جای دنیا برحال فیلم های خوب داره فیلم های متوسط و فیلم های بد متوسط خوب داره برحال مثل همه جای در واقع دنیا ولی اون چیزی که خیلی مهمه اینه که سینمای هند به نظر من به جهت تکنیکی رشد خیلی خیلی خوبی کرده که برای من خیلی سپرایز بزرگی بود که دیدم سینمای تو بخش های تکنیک بخش تو بخش های ویژوال ویژوال افکت سی خیلی خیلی رشد بود بلازه تکنیکی و این به نظر برها خیلی ارزشمنده 
It's difficult to make any kind of judgment or evaluation because I do not have the chance to see all the Indian films. And so, however, we can categorize like all around the world in all the countries, the films into different categories. Those who are very well received by the audience, best one or those in a actually uh, different categories. But the, the most important thing for me, which surprised me very well, it was the improvement and development of Indian cinema on the technical side as well, as an example for visual effect. Uh, so it's really remarkable, and so it's a very considerable process which has happened to Indian cinema. Yeah, to the other ones, like set designer, who Mansi am in just now, I'm shocked that I did it. I'm as far as Mansi did it, and set that I did it, I was shocked that I did it. It was a very good time, and it was something that I wanted to do. It was very interesting for me. Or in the experience with the team. Or in the other fields that has set designing, whatever Mansi did, it was a matter of surprise very quickly, get the feeling and so to understand what I expect and so organize it very quickly. I want to say the technical points is very, very important, as I can say, as one of the development Indian cinema. I think I've been really, really lucky and blessed. Um, my journey continues. یه چیزی که خیلی هی فهمیاد در مورد رحمان نگم. دوستان بگم این رو با ما تجربه خیلی خوب. I should just mention to one point about رحمان که اینم به عنوان بر حال یکی از رازهای موفقیت رحمانی که میخوام بگم. It's one of the, I believe, because one of the secrets of the success of Rahman. I have worked with many uh, composers. But the vision of Rahman is that, during the period of superstar, but in the first piece of music that he is making for the film, he is making for the film. 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 وقتی که میگه خوب نیست میگه اوکی به راحتی میذارتش کنار however he is very uh, well known and actually well experienced very professional and so but at the same time when he wants to work so he act in a way that it is for the first time that it's going to work and pay attention to all the details and whatever your expectation is مثلا در مورد پروژه پیامبر هم همین جور بود در کشورهای مختلف که به حال میرفتی برای ضبط یا کار راما کار میکرد می آورد و می گفتم که کل این اصلا خوب نیست به راحتی میذاش کنار نه اینکه حتی ناراحت بشه یا چیز بشه اصلا خیلی و برای من خیلی خیلی حس خوبی بود و من مثل آدمی که تمام میکردم بیش بهتر و بهتر میخواستم so uh, for the during the project of Muhammad so it happened to travel to different countries and so it happened sometimes he work and so present whatever he has done to me and say I said, Rahman, it's not my taste or actually not the favorite rhythm which I expected. Very easily he could accept and very in a humble way accept it at that point. And so this made me to have more expectation and more expectation from him to have a better conclusion. And until the thing that I wanted to do, I didn't want to do it. I mean, I said that if I didn't want to do it again, I would do it again. And this is what I said about Ramzai. And even for ten times, maybe I ask, and so in a very humble way he accepted, till to meet my expectation. So it is, he is superstar, but at the same time very humble. It's one of the secrets of Rahman's success. Thanks. Thank you for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for a quick photo op, of course, with the cast and the crew.